Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn of the Cast Iron Cookware channel. We can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to do something that I've never tried before, and it's a little bit of an experiment. And what I'm going to do today is vinegar spray rust removal. And I'm going to be removing the rust from this little one quart stew pot. Now it's not too rusty, but there is a little bit of rust on the inside and a little bit of surface rust on the outside. So we're going to be taking care of that coming right up. There's a few things that you gotta remember when it comes to using vinegar to remove rust. Number one is you never wanna leave it in a vinegar bath any more than 30 minutes. I personally only like to go 20 minutes and then check it. And then if it needs a little more, I may put it in there for a few more minutes, depending on how severe the rust is. I know there has been people who have left it in overnight and uh, because there wasn't any pitting, they didn't have as much of an issue. But I'm telling you, if rust has already got a hold of it, then if you leave it in there too long, it will just eat away at it. So never leave it in a vinegar bath any more than 30 minutes. Then if you need to do it again, you can repeat the cycle, and I would say 10 or 15 minutes the second time around. So my plan is to spray this one down really good, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and this just kind of scrub it a little bit, and then rinse it off and see what happens. So let's go check it out. Okay, we're outside and I've got my vinegar water solution. Now my solution is 50% water, 50% white vinegar. You don't want to use 100% vinegar because it's just too strong. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it down inside and out. And it smells a little bit like Easter eggs. <laughs> and I'm just going to let it sit. And the thing about vinegar, it's not going to hurt your hands. We're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Let's not forget the lid. Just gonna soak it down real good. We're gonna let our timer sit for about 10 minutes and we're gonna come back and we're gonna scrub it down. We're about at the five minute point. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a soaking just to make sure we got coverage. Give it another five minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I didn't want to go over too long because I don't want to cause any issues. Okay, I'm just going to take a scrubby and just kind of give it a good scrubbing on the inside. Good thing about doing this outside, I don't make too much of a mess. Now this one doesn't have a whole lot of heavy rust, but it's Mainly proof of concept. Let's get the lid. Kind of give it a little bit of a scrub here. We're going to rinse it off with a little bit of uh, garden hose water. Looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another spray and let it go maybe another 10 minutes and then let's check it out again. Give her another spray. Is it... Spray her lid again. We're gonna give it another 10 minutes. We're gonna come back and check it out. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and Give it a little bit of a scrub. Check it out. This little piece here is doing pretty good too. Of course, there wasn't a whole lot of rust, but this is to prove the concept. I think it's gonna clean up really nice. So let's go ahead and take it in the kitchen and add a little bit of dish soap and just see how it turns out. At this point, we're going to go ahead and rinse it off a little bit. 
One of my favorite little tools is an SOS pad. We're just going to go over the whole piece. You know, SOS pad is not going to hurt your cast iron. That's the inside. Just kind of go over the outside. And uh, you can actually use a magic eraser once you get it dried and go over it if there's any surface rust left on there. Sometimes you may deal with flash rust, but I got an answer for flash rust right here. I'm just going to go over the whole piece real good. I'm just going to rinse it off and see what we got. And if you got any places like that has a little bit of rust, like there's just a little bit right here inside the heat ring. A little bit of work with a SOS pad right there will take it right out. And as soon as I get it out of the water. I'm going to dry it quickly and apply a paste coat of my seasoning oil. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a little bit of dishwashing liquid. I'm using Dawn, but you can use any kind of dishwashing liquid that you prefer. The fact that these bubbles are white instead of orange is a good sign that all the rust is gone. Let's go ahead and take care of our lid while we're at it. And we're going to rinse it with as hot a water as you can stand. So we're going to dry it. You can use paper towels or a just a regular, you know, house towel. But I can tell you by experience, you don't want to use a nice white towel. And here's my secret. While it's still warm, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with my seasoning oil. I'm using Buzzy Wax. But you can use Crisco, grapeseed oil, lard, and just massage it in. Rub it into every little nook and cranny that you possibly can. The hard part is going to be getting it inside that little hole. I think I've done that. We'll go ahead and do our other piece. We'll let this one set for a minute. Go ahead and rinse your other piece off. Make sure we got all the soap. 
I can tell because the uh, buzzy wax on my fingers, I'm already getting a coating on this pan. Probably not a bad idea when you're resting. And before you apply your paste coat, it doesn't have to be bone dry. Just dry enough so you can get a good coating. We're gonna go ahead and cover this little, little stew pot. And we're just gonna massage it in. Now be careful because it's gonna be slick. Now, after you've got your paste coat applied and you know you've covered it completely, then you can go back and wipe off the excess oil. Now, when we put it in the oven to apply our first seasoning layer, after it gets hot, somewhere around 150 and 200 degrees, where you can still handle it, you're gonna go back and wipe it down again because we got a pretty thick coat on here right now and that's mainly to prevent flash rust. So there we have it. Ready to start our first seasoning layer in the oven. All the rust is gone. Actually proof of concept. It's pretty neat. Well, I'm really surprised how it turned out. It turned out really good. Now we have a nice paste coat of buzzy wax. And of course the inside turned out really good. Now this thing is gonna be beautiful after I go through about three rounds of seasoning in the oven. But I just wanted to share this idea and it is proof of concept. One thing that I really like about it is this. This was almost full. Now I got a little carried away and I saturated it a couple times and just sprayed, sprayed, sprayed. But it doesn't take that much. All you have to do is put a few spritz on it. And uh, I used probably twice or three times as much as maybe I could have gotten by with. So instead of having to use an entire gallon or half a gallon of vinegar in a foot tub or something like that, this is very economical. And the piece turned out really nice. I'm not going to go ahead and go through the entire process. One thing I like about having a paste coat like we have on this one here is that I can set it on the shelf and wait till I get three or four or five, six, a whole oven full of pieces so that I can season them all at once. So this turned out really nice. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you found it to be useful. If you have, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on new videos when they come out. Thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware.